something to create a better style of soccer within their organization. How big is that for a team that, you know, things didn't go their way records wise? Norwegian, excuse me, and the, the Sweden and the Germans are known for. So it's cool to watch how that has influenced the squad. Then you throw in a head coach from Bucharest, Romania. There you go. That's the team right there. And he seems like a fun guy, too. He enjoyed us telling, telling us that story about their trip. Oh, yeah. When you kick it, you can feel it. So you probably weren't buying it. Woo! How about that pass? A little scoop Boy. over the player's foot. Here's Bonnie. She's going to track it down. Maybe take it herself here. Nice pass off the give and go. And there's 10 minutes to go in this one. Benedetti. Will she try to go down the sideline? Flip across. Runs right into a defender. Very hard. Hits the deck. Holding her knee. Puts this in about midway up, headed by Bonnie. And Steiner collects it. Steiner over to Spetz. Spetz is going to move that ball along the sideline. That's free to Farstad Erickson. Erickson over to Tuva Ralstad Nielsen. Score the goal for number 21. Gina Steiner on the assist number 14. Steam up the near sideline. She gets it forward looking for Barrera. Deflected back very quickly by Stockton. But you charge you be developing something here. It's McLean with Steiner right in front of her. Steiner looking for Aliaga. Aliaga gets it back to Spetz. Spetz will get it over to McLean. McLean with a nice move trying to clear some space, but it's knocked away, pushing their offense. There's Spetz. Spetz is going to meander toward the far sideline before sending it forward to Bonnie. Bonnie with a nice move and a head of steam. Gets around her defender, but defensive players near the far sideline. Rostad Nielsen dials it up, gets it to the top of the box, headed by Spetz and over. Oh, that was a beautiful opportunity for Hanson. So Diana Ons in for Kelsey Jepson for you charge UV. That substitution comes at the 52-25 mark. A nice job by Bonnie of trying to find Jada McClain, but McClain gets a bad angle on it and ends But you charge UV's back line once again comes up strong. Hannah Spetz takes it. Spetz pushes it to the far sideline, finds Barrera. Barrera back to Ansa. Ansa tries. Spets bobs it into the box. Shot goal! Oh, oh, Spets gets a nice wide look at net from here. So she has a couple of really nice options. Go straight for the net and it's off the crossbar. Ball bounced out to the top of the box. Bonnie shot is deflected and out. Corner kick coming up. Throwing coming for UTRGV. Her time, whenever the ball came to her, didn't run up to meet it or race behind to get a new ball. You know, we'd be at this point in the game a few minutes later. UTRGV with an opportunity. Smith shot goes high. Defense Nielsen has it forward. Ansa for Spetz. Spetz the long boot. Now an opportunity with a shot wide. Kelsey Jepsen will send that over all the way across Malia Irvine. That pass wasn't moving quite as fast as she wanted it to, I don't think. But nice touch pass again with Spetz. Here comes Malia Irvine. 
Irvine looking for Ansa, but she leads that one just a little bit too far. Malia Irvine, Irvine a touch pass to Spetz. Spetz back to Marcelo Ramirez. Ramirez all the way over to Tina Sophie Nielsen. As we talked about coming into this first half, this is a game UTRG really wants to perform well in. It's nice to get some momentum coming into the start of WAC play as you've got two more home matches left, but those of those are at the beginning of WAC play. Jepson will get it to Malia Irvine. And here comes Irvine up the near sideline. She'll get it to Spetz. Spetz back to Irvine. It's beautiful touch passes for UTRGV. Irvine to Steiner. Steiner back to Spetz. Spetz looking for Ansa. And Ansa with the RG once again will send that one back. Erica Gonzalez will reset for UTRGV. And here comes UTRGV defense. Gina Steiner off to Malia Irvine. Tonight, Texas Lutheran has not spent any time on their offensive side of the pitch, it seems like. There's a long pass coming. They find Hannah Spetz, but she gets to it a little too late, unable to do anything with it, so she'll send it to players that are interested in coming to the United States. I was going to say you get to go to Ghana, Germany, yeah. Poland. Not a bad gig for I think I know what you're doing after this. I know you're going to apply to be a college coach. <laughs> coach Bruger, you and his staff. Ooh, but to Mashana there. More room to operate for Texas. Vaquero is quickly back. Carol's across to Adams. Adams knocked to the ground. A whistle. Some space now. This is a dangerous player. Speedy, good with the ball on her foot is Sarah Bonnie. Pretty much everybody regrouping, Islanders and Vaqueros. That would be a hard foul. No foul? No foul there. Wow. No. Trying to work toward the middle field. Knocked away, but Spetz is there to pick it up. Spetz over a midfielder. Sends that ball ahead. Aliaga. Trying to stay on side. She does. In the box. Ali Irvine. For Steiner. Spetz. It's Aliaga. Touch back for Steiner. Now Spetz. Battling her for it. Now to Spetz. Now ahead for Aliaga, but she's offside. A UTRGV player literally pulled her out of the way, and there was no call, and that led to the game-winning goal at something like 10903. For some reason, I I it think it might have been removed. over for Spets. Now over up for Smith. There's Steiner. Lightning comes and you end up changing the match time, but so far so good. Spetz takes over that ball. Espionage. Forward. Is that something that you guys uh, use very commonly? Yes, absolutely. It's, it's what you want to do to just maintain possession and to be able to set up your players in the mid and up front. And right now they're moving quickly down the right. Bonnie's got the ball. And right there, Spetz. Give and go. Spetz and Jepson. Spetz back. Oh. Looking for the cross. Bonnie just misses. Rita oh. off the crossbar. Rita Farstad, Erickson. Are
Back into the defense with Bell. ATRGV takes it back with Spence. Ball rolling on the far side of the box. 19 minutes to play. And you think about it, while there were some coaches who might know, have known Coach Bagari's style, he also varies his style greatly based on opponent. As Tucker sends the Six minutes later, Hannah Spetz takes over. Puts the Bronx up 2-1, to one, and we'll see more from her right now. Last week we told you about the Swedish connection, while well, Frida Farstad Eriksson with the corner kick, and she finds her countryman Spetz, who finishes. Spetz's first career multi-goal match leads to her first WAC Offensive Player of the Week award. ETRGV's fifth corner of the game. And they force this one in for a goal! The Vaqueros strike first. That's exactly what you want to have to happen on a corner. Not only do they score, but if you watched very closely there, Spetz came in from the middle of the box, slipped in behind the defense. The Islanders let that ball get down. Now early in the second half. Bronx down 1-0. Emily Ortiz with the corner kick into the box, and Hannah Spetz heads it home. Bronx tied the matchup at one, but the Kangaroos score with 57 seconds left in the second overtime to beat the Bronx 2-1. to one. 